Yo, 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 this is Big D here with another solo pod tonight. And uh, you know what that means. It's the 2021 NFL schedule release. We probably know what everybody is playing. So before I give you my tidbits on the uh, 20, the official 21, 2021 NFL schedule release, please subscribe to the Spunky Spectrum Sports YouTube page where you can see my week one edition. We've got plenty of other content available. We've got golf, football. You never know what to expect. And there will also be for your uh, soccer or football fans of uh, Manchester City and Chelsea, a Champions League preview in the not too distant future. So uh, Please look at on my YouTube page where you can see the latest and greatest of, of we've got coming for you. So it finally happened tonight. We got the official 2021 National Football League schedule release, and by golly, I am excited for the upcoming season. I wait to see some of these matchups. I think it'll, the new season will be bigger and better than ever, and not just having 17 games, but all these enticing matchups. I mean, a couple of tidbits that I quickly looked at the schedule. One, did anybody see Green Bay's first four games? I mean, uh, either the NFL has seen something on this Aaron Rodgers saga, or they're, or they're seeing something that will not, because... The fact that Green Bay's got New Orleans week one, the Detroit Lions on Monday Night Football, San Francisco 49ers week three, and then I believe they've got, what do they have? What do they have? I think they've got Pittsburgh. Yeah, they've got Pittsburgh week four in the late CBS winners. So they've got two primetime games and then two late afternoon slots, one on Fox and the other on CBS. So whether Aaron Rodgers is still in Green Bay, early, mid-September will be a story, but even if he is or not, uh, the NFL landscape is going to be paying attention to the Packers because we'll see if both sides of the horse who ended up, ended up getting the better end. A second thing is, uh, did anybody see the uh, primetime games? Holy cow. I can't wait for some of these primetime games. I mean, I've got the uh, Monday night slate and uh, week one, obviously, I told you with uh, Baltimore and Vegas. <laughs> Hopefully ESPN mics up John Gruden for that game. <laughs> I want to I see how many uh, spider wide bananas he calls in that game, but... Uh, Week two, Detroit Green Bay, Philly Dallas, week three, and then one of my favorite Monday night games this year is uh, week five, Indian Baltimore. That'd be uh, Carlson Wentz and uh, Lamar Jackson. It'd be very interesting. And even uh, week 14, Matthew Stafford against Kyle Murray. I mean, who wants to see Stafford and Kyle play this year? And then uh, and then the top and off, how about these Sunday night games? I mean, week one with, of course, Chicago, LA, and then maybe the game of the year or the game, one of the games on paper, Kansas City and Baltimore. I mean, you imagine M M T Bank Stadium going bananas. And then a week three, Green Bay, San Francisco, and then arguably the game of the NFL season, Tampa, New England, Tom Brady's homecoming, back to Foxborough where he won six Super Bowls and became the GOAT. It will be odd seeing Tom Brady play in a Buck jersey. I mean, what kind of reception he'll get? It'll be positive. Should be. Now, I mean... What if there be tears? I mean, what kind of a handshake there be? I mean, remember Eric Mangini when he beat Bill Belichick there? Uh, that was the fastest handshake in NFL history. And, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens when Brady and Belichick meet up 
in early October. And uh, a couple of scheduling oddities I saw. By the way, did anybody see the Chargers schedule this year? LA got a bad break with the schedule. They, I don't know what the NFL did with the Chargers, but they, they got a bad break with the schedule. How about week one for Brandon Staley? Your head coach in Beer, you get to face the Washington football team's defensive front. Good luck. Yeah, I could think of an easier game than Chase Young week one. Then you get Dallas, Kansas City, Vegas, Cleveland, Baltimore, a bye, and then New England. Yeah. And I really like the Chargers team. I really like the Chargers. I mean, Justin Herbert's a stud at quarterback. Who was Austin Eckler, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, and plus the Chargers also added Corey Lindsley and uh, Slater, the tap out of Northwestern in the offseason. But that LA's first seven games are so brutal. And it doesn't matter even if you got a rookie or an experienced head coach and quarterback. The Chargers will have trouble in the first seven games. And speaking of schedule, the, the Baltimore Ravens a bad schedule and break in in the season. Anybody see Baltimore's last seven games? Yeah, they got Cleveland twice, Pittsburgh twice, Green Bay, and the LA Rams. Yeah. Yeah, that will be interesting. I know the Ravens are well-run. John Hobo and Lamar Jackson continuously win every year. But that ending's going to be brutal. Four divisional games, and AFC North games tend to be attrition games, hard-hitting, physical, little feisty, little chippy, few flags. You imagine playing four divisional games in the last six, seven weeks, I mean, ooh, that'll be spicy. And, uh, how about an AFC North game or two then the regular season? Maybe potential for the playoffs, potentially home field. I'm not saying the Cleveland Browns are the favorite in the AFC, but you know Cleveland's going to be positive. <laughs> No matter if they're one and fifteen or fifteen and one, the Browns are always going to be positive, and uh, we'll find out early, and we'll find out this year whether Lamar is a champ is a championship level quarterback or just a championship level athlete. So uh, that's my early spiel of the uh, twenty twenty one NFL schedule release, and uh, get your popcorn. And so we're ready because football is only four months away, sports fans.